Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. If you're a new subscriber, it's great to have you here. Welcome. And if you're a subscriber already, it's great to have you back. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, today I have for you is, I've just got a, an Asda little shop. It's not a big one. It's just, I needed just a few things. So I just decided just to go ahead and get it. Uh, obviously, because <laughs> um, I didn't need a, a big shop. I've got plenty in my freezer and uh, it's just the basics. I needed like bread, milk, yogurts or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. So we'll get on with it and I'll show you what I've got. So probably most of it you'll be saying to yourself, she's had that in the last one, she's had that in the last one and the last one. But these are all returning favourites to me because it's things I use and I like and I know that they're good and things like that. So a couple of things I've not tried yet. So I'll just get in and I'll show you what I've got. So the first things I've got is here is the two Cravendale milks, which I normally get. Cravendale. Uh, I like the Cravendale as it says. It lasts longer. Fresher for longer, which it is. Just a loaf of Asda's own bread. Um, well, it's the bakery soft, what is it called? Soft white medium sliced. I just pop that in the freezer and I bring it out when I need it. If I want a couple of slices of toast or bring it out for a sandwich or something like that. Uh, a bag of the meaty variety uh, flavour crisps, Asda's own ones. I like them actually. I like Asda's ones and I like because it's got chicken in them. That's my favourite one. Just a bag of the easy peelers again. Uh, them cucumber. Uh, some spring onions, which I couldn't get the last time. They didn't have any. And my favourites, the plum tomatoes, because the last ones I got was... Um, uh, the cherry ones. I mean, I like tomatoes, but I, I, do, I don't know what, what it is. I just like plum tomatoes for some reason. Um, probably it's just me being daft, but I do like plum tomatoes. <laughs> so there you go. And um, I've got some radishes. I like these in my salad or I just like munch on them when I feel like it in the fridge. Carrots, I like grated in... Um, salads and that as well or just make um, using for your dinner or um, putting in uh, as I said salads or I just like peel them wash them and munch them as well just I'm a, as anybody knows I'm a, a veggie person I love veggies daft in them uh, some of these little what are they called garden gang they're just kids apples I think but I like them they're just small just not enough for me six amazing apples um, red ones little ones. I'm not keen on green tomatoes. Uh, green tomatoes. <laughs> green apples, sorry. <laughs> like Granny Smith's and that. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's early. <laughs> um, this was a substitute because I wanted the, the light one, but they sent me this garlic and herbs Philadelphia. But it'll do, I suppose. One can't be choosy. Uh, what else have we got? <clears throat> Some minestrone soup. I know it's like the weather's quite hot, but I still like a soup. Especially like on a rainy day or something like that. I just love my cup of soup. So I'm like an old-fashioned old hen. I like my fruit. I like my veg. I like my soups. It must be the way I was brought up, I suppose. Eat that or you don't get anything else. <laughs> um, just a little gem lettuce. I like these ones. They're easy. Just pull off the leaves or that and just handy for salads or adding to your, your uh, main dish. You know, if you just want a bit of lettuce or tomato on it or something. Uh, some eggs, I got this one, this is another substitute um, for whatever I'm going to be doing. Because the last one I got, um, the last Asda haul I got, I got like a few things I was going to make them, but I came, I, I didn't come uh, online for a while, I just wanted a wee break, so you didn't see the things that I made. So I did make the scotch eggs and I done all that, but I didn't upload it because I thought, well, I'm not going to bore you with things all the time, food and all that, because I know you are all like in hauls and all that kind of stuff. And um, so I thought, well, this is this is kind of like a haul, isn't it? <laughs> well, it'll have to be, it'll have to do because it's all I've got. <clears throat> so low fat natural yogurt. I wanted the fat free one, the Greek one, but they didn't have that again. That's twice they've not had it, so I've got that. So make it do again. Uh, what else have I got? I got some of this Asda crispy tempura chicken mini fillets. Um, these were two for five pounds. I could have got something else, but I just thought I'd get them and stick them in. I've got room in my freezer, so I've still got a bit of room. I might put one in the fridge and uh, one in the freezer. Uh, some, there's a couple of essentials things as well. Port luncheon meat, handy for sandwiches or a bit of salad. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
a bar of dark chocolate. That's only about 43 pence or something. Quite like that, actually. It's actually, it's actually like, um, what's that, that dark chocolate? Lint, is it, or something? But it's quite expensive. And it's got that kind of bitter kind of taste in it, like the ones that you do get, like the, or the cocoa one, you know, that 90% or whatever it is. Coco something, you know the one I'm talking about. But that is actually, I think that's a kind of a good substitute for it and a lot cheaper, in my opinion anyway. But So I got this, I know I normally get other low-fat spreads and that, but I use this a lot for like um, greasing the bottom of tins and all that kind of thing when I'm baking. Um, so I thought I'm just going to get a cheaper one because I really don't take a lot of spread on sandwiches or anything like that. In fact, I don't really use a lot of butter or, or spread or anything and things. <clears throat> and I've been buying, like, as I said, the low-fat ones and that. So I thought, I'll just get this one because half the time it goes in the bucket because it goes out of date. So if I'm making, like, my soda bread and that, I use some of that. So I just thought, I'm going to get that just for it. Because all it is is really for baking, kind of. Uh, some of the chocolate mousses. I got these before in my last um, shopping trip. Uh, these are nice, actually. I can't remember how much these are. They're quite cheap as well, but they're actually quite tasty for a wee um, essentials one Asta. So, you know, never go by the the actual um, the brand name of that. I'm losing my voice. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> losing my voice this morning. Uh, the Red Skin Peanuts. I like these, and these are good from Asda's ones. I like these ones. Uh, a bag of Starburst or Opal Fruits, as I used to call them. All these new names. Well, not new names. They're names for about 20 years now, I suppose. Um, what have I not shown you? Oh, yeah, I've got some more soups, but I like these. These are like a wee... These do me for like a little lunch. Um, because you get, as I said before, you get that amount of liquid in it. And you get all about this load of noodles in the bottom. So it's a kind of like a meal on its own. So I got three. Oh, and they're only three for a pound. Um, what is that? Thai style. Thai style. Chili chicken ramen noodle soup. And the other one I got was the Asian style chicken ramen noodle soup. Like them. A little jar of coffee. I know I've got the cheap one the last time, but it's just not the same. I mean, it's, I'm using it, but I like my Nescafe and I only got a small jar. And that's about £3 odds. Because Nescafe is my absolute favourite coffee, but I'm having to cut down. So I'm actually drinking more tea. So, but I got that. So I'll give the visitors the, the cheap stuff. <laughs> Um, rainbow belts, I don't know what the heck these are, but I got them. I like a chewy sweetie. I always like putting out a sweetie. If I'm going out, I put a sweetie in my pocket or that. Like, you know, like everybody laughs at me. Like if I, I, I'm going to meet them and say, did you get a sweetie? Did you put a sweetie in your pocket for the bus? You got a sweetie for the bus, have you? <laughs> Things like that, like a kid. Uh, a packet of licorice twists. Um, I like my licorice as well. I got a packet of these mint selection um, they're like humbugs and I don't know what else they are. I can't tell you. Oh, it is. What does it say in the back? It says, um, from mint humbugs to marshmallows, fruit pastels to fudge. with their classic confectionery. Uh, and that doesn't really say. There, it's an assortment of mint flavoured toffee and hard boiled sweets. That's it. There you go. And I've got a couple of bags of these dairy toffees as well. Uh, I like these ones, actually. I've had a few of these in my pocket when I met Anne when we went to the gala day and that. So, you know, I said, stick your hand in my pocket, Anne, get a sweet. <laughs> uh, I've showed you the apples. I've showed you them. I think I've actually showed you everything because it's just a quick, um, a quick um, shop. Um, yeah, I've not got a lot today. Just a few basics that I needed. I've showed you the bread, crisps, milk, whatnot. Yep. Yeah. So as I say, guys, it's just a quick shop today. Just a few basics that I needed just for the next week or so. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so if you like this kind of content, please give me uh, a like, the thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm desperately needing subscribers. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and yeah, well, I've had my, my, that's me being a, a year now on my YouTube channel. So thank you to everybody, though, that's um, subscribed so far. And stuck by me it's you're very welcome it's great that you've stuck by me and I'm, I'm very happy about that and thank you um it's great yeah <clears throat> at least I know that some people are sticking by me and I'm doing the right thing even though I do yap a lot I mean I know I just can't help myself I just cannot help myself talking 
<laughs> right guys have a lovely day take care of yourselves enjoy the weekend and i'll catch you in the next one whatever that may be take care see you soon bye